All right, then. Hello oh, there. Back. How are you? We're doing pretty good. We're about to start the Egypt arc of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. I'm excited. And we're going to have a new stand battle this episode, and we're also going to meet someone new. Someone new? A new when, good guy? A yes. new person. A new person? Well, we meet when new last, people all the time. When last we left off, the Speedwagon Foundation was delivering someone covered in a big old Oh, that's face. correct. And we didn't know, is it a creepy person or is it a regular person? <laughs> they seemed like a creepy person. <laughs> well, we're going to find out in this next episode. Well, it had better be good because I just finished work and I'm tired and I'm looking for respite. All right. It's about time. New beginning. The once slumbering saga from the deep arises amidst the burning sands, reawakening destiny. It's a quieter song. The destination blisters under... I can't read it. It stirs incarnations of the gods. Maggie. An unknown fate lies ahead. The final battle draws near. To the evil star platinum strikes. A curse has been set in motion. The loss of life resounds. Put an end to this tale. March on, Crusaders! The final blank page awaits. May your fists inscribe your fate. And I can't read that. The end of the world, the legacy's memory. Stand proud! <laughs> it's a helicopter! Thanks for the update, Captain Obvious. They're here from the no kidding. Not so fast. This new ally of ours. Are you saying that he's a stand user too? Yes, that's right. And his stand is represented by the card known as the Fool. The Fool? The fool? Wait. Polnarev, no one wants your opinion on anything. The helicopter's here. If they got there in a helicopter, how come the five of them couldn't have just helicoptered to Egypt? Well, they tried doing that a couple times, and both times Joseph crashed the plane, so... Maybe they should hire the Speedwagon Foundation to take them. The Speedwagon Foundation provided them with a very large, expensive submarine that they only used for like 20 minutes. Because they got sabotaged. Literally all their transportation modes have been sabotaged thus far. Is it you? No, sir. Neither of us is the user. I still think it would have been better if they got in a boat. Get back, Polnareff. You cannot beat him. What's the big deal? All I'm doing is asking where he is. Huh? <laughs> A dog! Oh, there's something that I probably should have mentioned. When he's in the middle of ripping out someone's hair, he likes to, uh... It's a farting dog. Would you want any other ally on the trip to Egypt? Oh, gosh. Polnareff. Now we'll see the fool. The fool is a giant machine gun? Oh. That's cool. 
Good Damn grief. that little menace! He's completely ruined my picturesque hair! No, his hair's fine. Is coffee flavored chewing gum a thing in Japan? I, uh, my fifth grade teacher had coffee flavored coffee, so. Well, coffee I can see, because there's like coffee flavored chocolates. Coffee I've seen some gum. weird flavors of chewing gum, so I'm sure it's probably a thing somewhere. Well, it's a thing here in Egypt. Fantastic. This is a perfect memento. <laughs> Oh. Ah! No! Hurry up and give them up the stupid gum! Ah! Now why in the world would I do that when the two of you are already such good friends, Folder F? <laughs> I missed it. Why did they take a picture of themselves? Because they got a new camera for Joseph to use. Oh, excellent. That's what I was photo. thinking. Yeah. Like, they would want to keep the camera. <laughs> what do you know? I almost caught it this time. Just a bit more practice. <laughs> All of this because of the Tsetsi fly. If not for those insects, Joe Star and his band of meddlers would never have known Master Dio was in Egypt. <laughs> Seems he's a blind guy who's really good at doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's water. A fish. Disguising itself as water at all. I think the stand is the water. No, it got Kakuin! Ah, it clawed up Kakuin's eyes! Polar F! Panicking isn't going to help anything! Is Kakuin really blind from now on? Can he recover from this? I like Kakuin. He never does anything, but I like him. <laughs> well, he had a whole episode where he fought a baby stand user. Yeah. Faster, pull the ref! Ah! It, it got me! Permit purple! Can it not go on top of cars? To make things worse, the stand user could be kilometers away. As a matter of fact, there he is. I see. That accursed dog is too perceptive for his own good. It knows I'm four kilometers west of Joestar's group. What to do? What to do? The dog doesn't seem like much of a threat. Why does the water go after the dog? It goes after the fastest moving thing, and the dog is asleep right now. Son of a bitch! The water's sharp enough to slash through our front tires! Move to the other side on the double! If it's trying to do what I think it is, then we're gonna need to hang on for our lives! To be continued. Oh, now we get a new end song. Is this the end song that I care about? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, 
All right. So what are your thoughts on this episode? Uh, my thoughts on this episode are that I like the dog. I don't know why everyone's afraid of the dog because the dog doesn't do anything. It bites hair. Well, the dog is kind of hard for them to control, I think. Yeah, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, it, it bit Polnareff's hair and the stand appeared, but its stand didn't hurt anybody. And then it just kind of hangs out. Just wait, guys. You're going to do a Just lot more. Just eat your food. Anyways, what are your thoughts on the villain and duel? Uh, oh, is duel the name of the stand? And duel, and duel is. And duel. Stand is named Geb. Geb and Enduel. After one of the Egyptian gods. Oh. Hmm. Is that how all the new stands are yeah. going to be named instead of after tarot cards? <laughs> Egyptian gods. Oh, that's clever. Um, I like them. Uh, it all seems very bizarre, but I guess that goes with the territory. Um, yeah, not a lot of thoughts on this episode. All right, so a few music references. So the new ending song is Last Train Home by the Pat Metheny group. Okay. Which it doesn't have any words, but I already noticed that. And Iggy, the dog, is named after Iggy Pop. I know Iggy Pop. And Endul is named after a musician who I apologize if I'm butchering this. It's Yuso Endor. I don't know who that is. It's a Senegalese musician. Senegalese? Yeah, that's probably how it's pronounced. Well, there we go. It's sunk into the sand. We should all be all right as long as we don't move and don't make a sound. <laughs> it's much Seems a lot like the plot from The Tremors. I've never seen The Tremors. Well, I think it's just called Tremors, not The Tremors. It's about burrowing big snakes that eat you when you walk around. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's going to be quite so easy. Yeah. I think they're going to have to do some fighting. Mm -hmm. I just, everyone in the group seems to be useful. And then there's Polnareff. <laughs> like, Abdul, like, is really smart. And, uh, and Jojo, or Joseph, is really smart. And Jotaru has a good stand who does all sorts of crazy crap things. And Kakuin is level-headed and the dog is cute and has a good stand and then Polnarev just overreacts to everything flirts with everything <laughs> gets them into trouble and his stand with his sword never kills anything well, he killed, uh, the hangman. And... Oh, that's true. Uh, Devo the Curse. <laughs> What's this? Someone started running. Jotaro, what are you doing? You know we can't just run around! His stride says he's about 190... No, 195 centimeters tall. There's a youthfulness in his stride, so he's not Joseph. It must be Jotaro, then. But where exactly is he going? If he can tell all of that from his stride, but he couldn't tell that the other guy's stride was just him throwing rings, I think there's a discrepancy there. Higgy! 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You can fly too? Not so fast! Go ahead and pan all you want. You're not getting out of this one. Star Platinum's as fast as they come. If you're thinking of dropping me, I'll snap your neck before you can blink. Don't threaten the dog. The dog just saved your life. Well, the dog tried to save its own life, and then he jumped on and grabbed it. Well, yeah. The dog is nice. Hey, Mutt, quit tensing up like that. You're starting to fart again. For your sake, you better not let out a big one. No choice. Seems like a small concern at the moment. He's coming. I know What's the dog's name? Iggy. Iggy. That's a good name for a dog. I don't know who found out that Iggy had a stand. Uh, it said Avdol found him. Yeah, but like, was the dog just using his stand like to get the coffee gum? Presumably. <laughs> <laughs> Time to die! Star Platinum! Punch the water! Shit! You damn mutt! <laughs> what a dog! He's dragging Jotaro right into my trap! It seems like he'll do anything to save his own hide! <laughs> Even abandon his master! <laughs> Bastard! Just you wait. That's what you get for relying on... No, Iggy has a plan, because Iggy is a smart dog, because all dogs are good dogs. All dogs go to heaven, and Iggy is a good dog. Don't hurt Iggy! Show yourself, Jotaro! I'm right here. <gasps> Start planting and punch him up. And I'll never tell you anything that you could use against my master. <laughs> Dio. Dio. Dio was the first person who was able to look deep within my soul and find something more. He was the one who gave me a desire to live. That glorious force of nature. He was so strong. So Dio's so weird looking. <laughs> you should know that my name is Ndul and my stand hails from Egypt, the birthplace of the tarot. It's referred to as one of the nine gods of Egypt, Geb of the Great Ennead. We call it the God of the Earth. Nine Egyptian gods? What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, but I'll only tell you about my stand. It's only fair, since you're the one who ended up stopping me. But info on my compatriots goes with me to my grave. If only he had Wikipedia where he could look up the Egyptian gods. <laughs> or just like go to a library and get an encyclopedia or like yeah, learn I about suppose. the Egyptian gods. Good grief. That dog is a pain in the ass. You can stay out here in the desert for all I care. Jotaro, just be nice. All dogs go to heaven. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Thanks. <laughs> you put gum in here? You good for nothing, little. You're no ordinary mutt. Hey! Jotaro! Huh? Jotaro! Are you all right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. Just like Charlie Brown would say. <laughs> Jotaro and Charlie Brown have so much in common. Alright, there's an after credits scene after this. Oh, okay. Abdul always tries to hold the football and Jotaro goes to kick it. And then Abdul pulls it away and Jotaro goes flying. <laughs> lands to the kaboom. 
good I mean, I still grief. Pull it away. I still wouldn't pull it away. Pull her Joseph, Joseph would pull it away. Joseph would pull it away. Kakuin would, just because Kakuin is like the smart one. I mean, they're all the smart ones compared to Polnareff. If I were... Okay, so I'm a writer. Yeah. I'm going to write some fan fiction <laughs> in which Polnareff gets beat up really bad by all of the other guys. <laughs> and that's all that happens. That's going to be the story. All right. And then they shave his head and make him put on a shirt. <laughs> How peculiar. The story's about these two eerie looking boys. Boingo, boingo. Hi. Oh, it's 1030. But unfortunately, the very kind traveler was impaled on a telephone pole and died a horrific death. What a weird comic you've got. That is a weird comic that he's got. Are you deaf or something? My bro's book's not for sale. Now get out of my sight. This kid is your brother? I won't tell you again! I'm gonna impale you on a... telephone pole. <laughs> Ah, you don't say. If that's how it is, we'll just have to wait for the next bus. What? Dun dun dun! Well, so that's the next little foreshadowing for our next a little bit of a teaser. Years. That's pretty exciting. All right. Do you have any more thoughts on this episode? Um, I like the dog. The dog's got my heart. Iggy. Yeah, I don't see why they're all so afraid of the dog. The dog is nice. It is. It's a little He's slimy. A bit of a troublemaker. A little bit of a troublemaker, but not too much of a troublemaker. Yep. He's just kind of slobbery and he's got a stand and can his stand his stand is made out of sand. Mm -hmm. Can he turn into a stand when he's not in the desert? Like, because yeah, I mean, it can do that. Oh, okay. It can. It just is sand. It's always sand. They just happened to be in the desert. Okay. Yeah. If they were in like a pile of gravel, it wouldn't be made out of gravel. Yeah, it's just sand. Well, there we go. All right. All right. Let's do it to it. it. Also, when you get to this one, just scroll down to the bottom because I have that one. Oh, okay. Because it's cut off, so. Bagner T, my favorite patrons. Bagner T, Blazing Opus, Cartoon King, Christian and Gwen, Dr. Bingus, Ebony Like the Wood, Elizabeth Deladorante, excellent name, Eric Isidoria, Grin, 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 Grinning Grimace, Insane Tofu, Jameson Bowling, Joseph Roloma, The Dirty Rat Who Killed My Brother, Kalud Adobar, Khalid Al Hajiri, Louis Paul Letarte, Michael Richards, Mr. Someone, Next Gen Blue, Pizza Time, Seco Mode, Tom Beverage, Tom F., Wild Frito, and Willow Chaffee. My favorite patrons. My favorite people, they're just, you're all attractive and, and excellent, and none of you are like Polnareff. All right, and we'll see you next time. Next time. All right. Bye.